说让他你去了，太惨了。你说是不是让他你去了？在之前我就已经去了。太惨了。有点三分钟没有。那老师来，那个那个，我接着问你。问你啊，主要从我们中这个大最基础的，对，就是基础的，因为你是上过班，从全部我全部我就想要对自己整体关系。不是，你做基础的话，现在都在学。我听他们说，就是你用一个用现有的技术，一个专取的，然后挨个经历了不少摩擦，他用那个测经济取向，用经济取向来预测经济经济，从经济经济来预测整个物价，现在都在学。开始个啥？我跟你一起进来。快点，快点，快点，快点，快点，快点，快点，快点，快点，快点，快点，快点，快点，快点，快点，快点，快点，快点，我一个朋友，他不下去，所以就只能装一瓶子，然后把它空瓶子。on this case study about square eyes in nanocapillaries. So I've got uh, some copy of, of, the, of the paper, so some copies of the paper that you can take if you want. This hours on blackboard. Uh, and there is also the communication following this paper. So you know, someone question the result of this paper and the reply from the author. So, I believe you should have already had a quick look at the question, right? And and similar than last time, we are going to well, you are going to discuss a, about this in groups, and then you know uh, maybe for half an hour, a bit more, and and then at the end we are going to discuss these different questions uh, all together. Okay, do you have any question on this? So as last time, you know, you, you, you try to answer the question and then you can ask him, ask me anything and then you can. If you do it in group, it's like, it, it's just more, you know, more important than, um, it's much nicer to do it. Okay?
So I've got only 60 copies. So if you want to book, it should be fine. Then. If you take one of the files,
没啥那个。
So how many of you have already answered the first question? Nobody? Hmm? The first question. No. So how, how, how can you get an idea about why this paper is, is, is interesting? I mean, when you read the paper, you, you put the paper, and where do you look at uh, in this paper to have an idea of you know the importance and you know what is, what are the main results? There are two sections you should look at. What? Abstract, but abstract is also it's also a summary of you know uh, what has been done and uh, very quickly about the results, but it doesn't necessarily capture the impact of the paper, the importance of the paper. There is usually one or two sentences, but there are two other sections that usually will be more, uh, that will give more information about how important are this research. What are the, this section? What? Confusion is one, introduction is the other. And actually the introduction is, is, very, is, is fairly important. And when I, uh, when I was a student, I was always thinking that this introduction is useless because this is all very generic things that we supposedly all know when we work in the field. But actually it's very useful because it really uh, sets the scene for, for this specific paper. So, and this, you know, this justifies <coughs> all the research, why they did this work, and this also gives the idea of, you know, like, for the, for the author, for the uh, people that work on this, it's where they explain why they, 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 they did the, uh, this work and why they think it's very really important, <coughs> and why it will have impact in other fields, you know, in, in the field or in, a, in, in research in general. So this is why I, I asked this question first, is really to, for you to, to grasp uh, the <coughs> idea of the paper. So to answer this question, you don't need to look at details, um, you know, what experiment has been done. It's ma m more like, okay, what's many results? And then another question is more like, yes, ex what experimental detail, how is analyzed, and then there is a bit concern about the results and you know. Okay. So uh, keep going.
So here is the introduction for this talk about and the conclusion. So this paper is a bit difficult to really to um, to understand exactly what what the impact um, because it's, it's it's not very applied research. Uh, but they do mention what uh, what are really why it is relevant and this paper has been cited. Uh, many times since it's been published, so in, in three years it's been cited more than 300 times, so which is quite a lot. And it has been cited in papers that are very applied, so it's, it's relevant to a lot of studies. So, but I think it's interesting for you to, to be able you know, like to, to see a case where very basic research can be uh, uh, relevant for more applications. Yes. Yeah, maybe they find they do this drug so that it's a bit pertinent and it's different from the comparison to the other drug. Is where right? Yes, yes. So, and actually there was some uh, some modeling that were uh, suggesting this, but what does it mean? The observed. Yes, yes indeed. So this is already a very good point. But this is not, this is really, uh, how we, well, this is, what is very good with this paper, but is, so they did the first experimental observation of some things that have been modeled previously. But, so, and this is something that is very difficult to achieve usually, so it's, it's already something very good. But what's the impact of this? What does it, what does it imply? So, a new phase of water. What? A new phase of water? Yeah. Yeah, kind of, yeah. But water, but many, many phases. But yeah, it's a new phase of water, yes, that's true. But basically, what, what is, why it is important is because it's, it's a phase of water in the nano capillaries, in a very thin capillaries. And this, the physics known <coughs> in this capillaries, we don't know much about this physics. And it's all fairly new. And it has, it can have many impacts <coughs> for uh, a lot of things. Um, you may have heard about the graphene oxide membranes that are, uh, you know, could be used for dissemination. So there's a lot of work that's been done uh, here uh, in Manchester on these membranes. And this is basically understanding what the, the structure of the molecule inside these capillaries. So here is graphene capillaries, but uh, in case of graphene oxide membranes, um, it's graphene oxide, obviously, but it still has this kind of very similar channel and which, are in, which exhibit interesting properties. Uh, there was some other work, um, more recent work, where they, they, made, they managed to make uh, um, a free antrum uh, high and, uh, channel, which is, so they make, managed to make such a device which is extremely difficult. They struggled quite a lot. Uh, it took them quite a very good paper to, to get it right. And, and in this nanocapillaries, the transport of molecules is very fast. So it's significant, significantly faster than uh, uh, in <coughs> other kind of uh, capillaries, like in any membrane that you have where you look at transport. Uh, transport. So this one is uh, much more faster. So and then that means that, for example, if you want to do uh, uh, well, one classic one is, is, is water desalination when you want to, to separate the molecule from you know, uh, salt from uh, water, but it can be any kind of solvent, any kind of impurities from water to get clean water. And this kind of materials or this kind of uh, membrane nanocapillaries can be very, very useful because they can be much more performance than what we have, the current technology that we have. So understanding the physics um, uh, and the chemistry that is happening with this nanocapillaries is quite important. And this is what this paper is about. And there was no, not much experimental data on this, uh, on this study. So it's, it's mentioned very briefly, but this is, so in, in the paper, the introduction and, and conclusion, but this is really why it is interesting. Uh, and this is why it has been published in one of the most difficult papers to get published in. Uh, so one that is so nature is uh, it's a broader than paper. It means that anyone in in in, in scientific field read it. So usually it's very broad audience. It's not that much technical. 
So it's more about like big results and big ideas. Um, but yeah, it has been accepted. And as you can see in the following, there are some people in the US that were not quite pleased with the results. So that's why they, they, you know, uh, they question the results and they, they, they show experiments that uh, um, their experiment could be wrong. And there was the following discussion. And as a, as a scientist, it's particularly annoying when you see a paper that's published in a very good journal and you think that the, the, the experiments are wrong. So that's why the, the US uh, uh, guys were a bit annoying. Um, so what, what were briefly the experiments that people did in this uh, paper? What kind of technique did they use? Yeah, but more specifically. I mean, they, they didn't use whatever T. Again, it's a bit difficult to appreciate here because this paper is written in the style uh, for broad audience, so there is very little technical detail. But basically, it's aberration created TM, so this is first contrast TM. So in the original paper, it's first contrast TM, where they do atomic version imaging. And um, what else? Yes, they did ills. And what, what, what kind of analysis they did from the AIDS? Uh, what? Sorry, I didn't talk. I'm sorry. Did someone say something? So they did, they tried to look at the fine structure of the AIDS because depending on. Um, Yes, depending on the phase, then they will have, you know, a fine structure that they will have a very specific feature. So, so they look at the oxygen pH, and uh, depending on the bonding of the oxygen, um, it can the, the edge will have a specific uh, shape. So they did this, and this is actually one of the things that the. Uh, um, the group in US question because they said, well, your analysis is wrong. So you, you, you do, uh, you, you, you look at, uh, so at as, as a hills edge, you say this is this much fairly well with what, could, what water could be in, um, well, this is fairly close to water in, in, in vapor or liquid. But the guy from US said, but this is about the same things and uh, silicon oxide. And we know that we have silicon side all over the place in this kind of, of well, all over the place. Yeah, in, in this kind of graphene sheet, yes, you, uh, there is silicon or that is a reservoir and particularly silicon oxide that can be there. Uh, so this um, this was not a very strong strong evidence. That it was. This was a fairly weak evidence. Okay, um, yeah, so all the results have been analyzed and discussed. What, what did they use to, uh, to justify their finding? So they did high Russian TEM, so atomic Russian TEM, uh, so first compress imaging, and then was it enough or not? Well, if I ask the question, it's obviously it was, it was not enough. So what have they done to analyze the results? Yes, they use simulation. So, and that was, half of the paper is about simulation, actually. So this paper will never have been accepted if I was not uh, uh, modeling of this l water in the nanocapillary. So this is, you know, you put some experiments, but really what uh, uh, what gives strength to this paper is the modeling. And from the modeling, the <coughs> image simulation, so TM image simulation, to justify that, okay, the best model that match our experimental observation is this model. 
and they could justify, okay, if we, uh, if we take the model of uh, squarish uh, uh, water, uh, crystal, uh, with a specific stacking, then we got good agreement with our experiment. So this is, this is a fairly um, important point. Um, so now, what are the concerns of this paper? Why the, the people in the US uh, they were they think it's like it's not correct? Uh, it said you get a similar uh, diffraction pattern uh, as you would if there was salt contaminant. Yes. So um, they didn't show a, a diffraction pattern. They show a, a Fourier transform, which <coughs> contains similar kind of information. So Fourier transform, uh, remember, is on you've got a high resolution image with some lattice, yeah. then you take the Fourier transform, <laughs> which contains similar kind of uh, information as the diffraction pattern, but is not strictly speaking a diffraction pattern. So, uh, just to make small details, because if you remember pre previously from, from last year, diffraction pattern and Fourier transform are not exactly the same thing. They contain similar information, but we can't analyze it exactly the same way. But it's fine. It's very usual for this kind of system to look at the Fourier transform, and you know, uh, and uh, if you look at the periodicity of this image, uh, either in the salt uh, nanocapillaries or in water capillary nanocapillaries, you get similar kind of pattern. Um, so, okay. So basically, the guy in US are saying, well, it's, it's not water; it's just salt, and you know, we always have salt. We always have this kind of contaminant. So we know that in this system, <coughs> most of the time we we'll have silicon contaminants. We we'll have, uh, it's very easy to get salt. Uh, it's actually <coughs> fairly difficult to get good quality water, even if you try to make it very clean and so on. It's usually fairly difficult uh, when you do experiments. Um, so it's not, it's very common to have this. It's not a uh, bad experiment. It's, it is just common. Um, but uh, the guy, uh, how, the, 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 how the group in the US could see that it is salt and not water? Because, the, you know, like in the um, in the comment of this paper, the question the, from the group in the US, they, they say, they demonstrate that this is salt and not water. So how have they done it? So if you look at... Uh, <laughs> So they did some, um, yeah, they did some stem where they, they did HADF and bright field at the same time. So remember, so because in the group in the US is more, uh, they are specialized in stem, and the group that were experiment from Hull in Germany, they are more uh, TM person, well, uh, first contrast TM. But remember, the bright field stem can give very similar kind of contrast than uh, first contrast TM. So and they take you know they took both images because you know in STEM you can acquire both images same time. They use their bright field STEM image to show, look, we have got the same data as you. And then at HDF they, they've got uh, more information because they got a, a bit of the same contrast. But there's not only this. There is more data. So in the, in the main figure of the uh, of the comment. What shows that it is salt and not water? It's, it's not a simple question. Eels. Yes, they did eels. And they measure the uh, sodium KH, you see in the plots, the bottom sodium K, uh, no, uh, well, I don't know which, which it is, but it measures sodium. Yeah, maybe K. Uh, measure chlorine. So. And then they discuss the fact that is, so the fact that it's not exactly square, it's, uh, 
this is not, I guess this is kind of detailed, it's not, uh, um, it's not very important here. What is more important, I think, is that they cut the, uh, they show the hills, and actually this is a bit cut here on the side, um, on the printout. Um, they show the hills from different, from a couple of reference, they compare with their hills, their own hills, and they say, well, we've got the same hills as you, but we don't have water, we've got salt. So, and the oxygen just comes from contaminants. And actually, they, 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 they say that the position of the peak doesn't fit exactly, actually. So, you know, they have a few experimental uh, proof that is not quite uh, right, to their opinion. Um, so what, uh, what could have been done in the original paper to rule out salt? Yes. So I think it's, it's like, it's, it's really, it's, or they could have done EDS too, because EDS, you are going to collect all the elements at the same time. Then is usually, you may, you, depending on your uh, instrumentation, it's difficult to acquire the whole spectrum. So, and this is actually, if they would have done experiment properly, they would have like a, a complete uh, element analysis. So this is something that is not very good. But another big problem is that they can't reproduce the experiments. And there was, a, I think it has been discussed in the, in the comments, uh, in the reply to the comment, but also, if you go on the uh, on the website of the article at the bottom, you will have some comments of the author that says, "Oh, we are going to try to do the experiment again," and then one year later, "Oh, we tried and we can't do it again," which is a bit, which is very embarrassing, basically. Uh, and then at some point, so at the beginning, in the reply that was saying, "No way we have salts in this specimen," and then at the end, they were saying. Well, we, have, we start to be a bit concerned about, about the variety of the results. Uh, but still, it's quite interesting because uh, this sparked a lot of research on, on this well. You know, uh, it has been cited, cited many times and it has been picked up very fairly well, so the results are still interesting. There is a lot of modeling that has a uh, follow-up from this uh, um, paper. And uh, so there's a much more understanding that has been gained on this, on this specific topic. The modeling is still very uh, valid, so many different groups in the world reproduce the results in the modeling. Uh, the experimental results have not been reproduced properly yet. Uh, I'm not sure if they will be uh, anytime soon, but uh, well, we'll see. Do you have any question on this? So, um, this paper, I think, is, there was a few things that were interesting in this. Is, is for you, it was uh, possibly difficult to appreciate exactly why it is interesting and so on, uh, what's the impact. Um, but this is, uh, if, you, if you do research in future, this is something that, you, that is really important. So you, you should be you know, thinking in terms of, OK, why I'm doing something, why, why I'm doing this. What it, why it is important to you know, have a bit of like vision of, of, of the research. Okay, so if you don't have any questions, then we'll to stop here.